Right guys, here we've got another alarm bell box. I got this from um, a place that, um, like this car garage looking thing. Um, it's uh, It got its alarm placed by TI Security. And they, um, I asked him at first and he said, oh, they took it with him. But then I insisted that I uh, check his bin because you know I like to do that. And at first I found nothing, but then I had to dig a little bit, and, it, and, it, and he thought it wasn't going to be in there, but then I found the box for the Parents Delta Bell that was installed in its place, so then I thought if I dig further I'd find the bell box, and then surely enough I saw the, I saw the cover peeking out, and then moments later I found the back plate as well, so this is a live one. I do not know if it works yet, but um, I'll show you a picture of where I got it from if I can, so if there is a picture I can get, it's going to be right here. Right, now I'm going to show you the inside of this. This is branded by Worlo or World. It kind of looks like a D, but I've had several people tell me it's Worlo as well because I've come across quite a few of these boxes, but I've not actually had one of these secure ones, though. This is this appears to be like a Mark... I thought this was a Mark 1, but it looks to be a Mark 2 because it's got two LEDs, but it's got a weird back plate. That's I first thought it was a Mark One because it didn't have these two LED spots and two there. But it literally has a hole drilled into this one here. This would have been a Mark One back plate, but they've drilled a second hole here. And uh there's no date code there, but we'll we'll get into it anyway. So yeah. I love doing this honestly. But yeah, I don't know if this works yet, so yeah, we'll open this up. It's very nice and yellowed and very nice dust. Gives it character, doesn't it? 4th of January 1996. This is a 1996 bell box? Ah, oh, come on, this has clearly been some kind of bodge, hasn't it? It's probably been, it's probably had new guts in it or something, but it's got its piezo, it's got... Yeah, this is Mark. This is definitely a Mark Two, issue two point one. Hang on. There you go. We got a Mark Two, two point one to be exact. But I'm gonna call it a Mark Two anyway. But um, yeah, battery still still seems to be connected. Which, whether or not it works or not, is anybody's guess. But um, you can tell I've not cleaned this yet. <laughs> but yeah, there's your strobe, your Zenon strobe, sound generator. Another transformer, a capacitor probably for the strobe, relay, printed, you know, IC, resistors, you know, diodes, you know, stuff like that, capacitors. Right, so now I'm going to connect this to some form of supply, and hopefully it works. Because about 70% of the securities I've had in the past have been water damaged. Kind of like the secure I've got up there. That's water damage. It only slightly works. So hopefully I've got one that does fully work. Right. I've got the test rig set up. Yes, I'm doing it the cheaters way. Don't yell at me. Don't you do it. So yes, I ain't got the screw in because so you can get a look at it while it's inside working. Once again, it's untested. So I've actually pulled the tamper switch out a little bit. So it still clicks in. Yep. Right, three, two, one. Oh, it works. Right, so now that I've verified it works, I'm now going to connect it. Right, you can see that LED, but you can hardly see that one. I'm going to turn the lights off. You can't really see that, because it's almost like this LED here was not meant to be there. So yeah, I'm gonna do um, a, a set it off on backup battery. Okay, okay, backup battery's dead. That is loud. <laughs> hang on, hang on, I'm gonna see if I can quiet the siren a bit. This is the loudest bell box I've come across, so I'm gonna cover the piezo. I'm gonna connect it. Okay, so you can definitely see that LED working. The backup batch is working. Right, so I'm gonna 
put the phone here and I'm gonna set it off on Tampa. That'll be the best I get. So I'm gonna do the Tampa. I'm gonna do the one, the turn for Tampa. Right, so there's that out of the way. So now I'm gonna test the strobe. Is this in old off mode? Uh, it it flashed once. Yeah, it flashed. Now it's not doing it anymore. Right, what I'm gonna do is wait. I've got a good experiment to make. So wait, hang on. But first, I'm gonna do the other tone of this bell box now. Right, it's in all off mode. So that's what it sounds like in the uh, actual siren trigger. And the LEDs are still alternating. It's not it's not good that you can't really see the other LED. Because this used to be a Mark 1 backplate, I can tell. So I'm going to let the backup battery charge a little bit, and then I'm going to do the power failure test, because these Mark 2s sound so funny. And there's your backup battery charging LED. I'm going to clean up these LEDs a little bit. Maybe I can add a... Hmm. Yeah, I can't. So I'm going to wait for... I'm going to get the backup battery to charge a little bit. I'm keeping the siren covered because this is probably the loudest bell box I've tested so far. And, uh, yeah, let's see if it works now. Right, that's it. I'm just going to... Uh... Okay, that's not it. Okay, so I'm gonna put my phone here. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna lower the voltage. Seven volts, six point seven. Five volts. <laughs> it sounds so funny. Four volts. Five volts. <laughs> uh, wait, wait, wait. Hang on, hang on. Let me put the siren up a bit. <laughs> it's still going! <laughs> that lasted. It lasted to 2.8 volts. Now let's actually charge up the backup battery. Got the strobe to work properly now. It turns out it was just, it's just, it doesn't work properly when you first start it up. But yeah, I'm going to let the backup battery charge for a little bit and see what happens. It's still funny that this LED is pretty much knackered. I'm going to replace these LEDs because they're really dark. What? The both LEDs are flashing now. Just They're both flashing simultaneously. They're not alternating anymore, they're both just flashing. Oh, there we go. We're back uh, thinging again. Right, I'm going to move that. Okay, yeah. I don't know what happened there, but um, let's see if the backup batch is charging it now. No. I'm going to wait a while, honestly. So, yeah. The backup batch has got some charge in it. Initialised. Now. <laughs> okay, let's wait a bit longer. One more time. Three, two, one. 
yeah guys i think this will be it for the demonstration now because bas basically my phone's been on the ground because basically i've had my hand on the sign because things really really loud but um yeah that's that's pretty much it for demonstration now so this will probably be going on my walls display after i've cleaned it up and i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching peace